stuck just like walking and you're actually like running? Not in the vault. Oh, okay. Step over to the Hi. You'll need your well, seat sure. uh, to take you further. Thanks. Right over there. What now? Just follow the doctor's lead. He'll show you where to go. All right, you two. Follow me. Got ahead of him. <laughs> Yo, doctor, do you know you have an orange thing above your head? Apparently the doctor can run. That's not oh, you're going to love it. It doesn't matter. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Our home. Everything we had. How long do you think we'll be here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in a while. So yeah, so we've both we both have other characters and we've played this game before, in case you're wondering. Yeah. And um I I had the most fun with survival mode. As been playing on survival, yep. some kind of Just Masochistic it's not that weirdo. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just annoying, and you need to really be careful with what you do, and it, it gives you more incentive to make use of all the game systems, to the max, like the settlement system, and all the crafting, and the cooking, and the upgrading, and the and also watch what you carry because you have like a really limited carry weight. Instead of bullets being weightless, they have weight, which I really like. So this feels kind of ridiculous to have 10,000 rounds of 45 ammo in my pocket. <laughs> so. And you played 3 in New Vegas? Right. You didn't play a lot of New Vegas, right? I didn't, I didn't make it through that one. Um, New Vegas was probably my favorite one until hmm. Fallout 4. I kind of preferred Fallout 3, yeah. but... New Vegas had, um... New Vegas was a little harder, and it had more... Eh, it had a little more character, but it had a... The story was also weak. Like, the stories of these games have been kind of weak since, like... Fallout 1 and 2 probably had the strongest, in my opinion. But they had to do more writing. They had to be, they had to be more... There had to be more going on because there wasn't so much, um, so much fidelity, so much uh, technology behind it. I don't want to watch her get shot in the face. Let's just cut right here. <laughs> Although I do kind of want one of those like institute isolation suits. magic of video editing <laughs> we're back so wait we're not gonna we're gonna cut out the like <laughs> i don't I the don't, most I important that, dramatic moment in the entire I game i find that like i find that scene kind of disturbing well it is disturbing yeah we can leave it in <laughs> we shouldn't edit our show before we've we're even done like recording it <laughs> no we should it's funny Never use it again. <laughs> I'm sure they put a lot of work into the security of the baton, and just no one uses it past the opening. Oh. Nice impact. Right, so every one of the vaults has like a experiment going on in it. 
This one's tame compared to the other ones that are trying to drive everyone insane. Isn't there one in Fallout 3 that's just like populated by clones of the same guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, seeing how long people can be frozen for, it's not very nice, but it's not crazy pants. Or the one in Fallout 3 where they're like piping in music to drive everyone insane. They're like hallucinogens or giant yeah. roach roach meat. I like how he just immediately knows how to harvest meat, like what kind of what part of the rad roach he should eat, and also how to cook it. There's more roaches in here. Yes, power attack. I think we yeah. never will do again. Oops. Oh God. <laughs> the first time I, I fought those things, they got me down to like half my health, and I sat there for five minutes just drinking water to heal. <laughs> oh man, stim packs. Aw, oh, yeah. And a. Yeah, yeah, I still. My survival character still has that pistol. I go, I, I'm pretty attached to this pistol for some reason. It's like the first one you get. And you see a lot of 10 mil pistols later on, but. That one's mine. Um, oh, yeah, right. Okay. Give him what for? I think he had bats. Yeah. What's the boy up there doing? I think he's got bats. <laughs> well, alright. Show them who's boss. Don't forget, you don't have life giver anymore. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dead. I think there's a second one on yeah. the other side of that shelf or something. Or not. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh, there it is. Yep. And you're dead. I'll teach you to exist. All right, now we have a trip boy. Hit boy. Now the game starts. I want a mod where he doesn't clean the screen. Do you really? <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to moderate to clean the screen every five minutes. And paper that would towels. Be, paper that should be in survival mode because it's real. Paper towels on the new fusion core. <laughs> <laughs> I want a scented air freshener plug in for my Pip Boy. If my Pip Boy was real. If I, pit, if I had a real one. I just want to. Mountain snow. Wherever I walk, it smells like soap. There. Where's the light coming from? Not entirely sure. I think the top is sealed so they go up there. But whatever. It's cool. It looks neat. Yeah. I kind of wonder how it still has power. Yeah, see, the top is like, that's the top. Where was the light coming from? Was it the spotlights? I guess, oh, yeah, I guess there's a big old... Oh, there's like, there's yeah, big -ass emergency lights. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You want to be Bob? I'm, I'm happy with Bob. Are you happy Bob? I should have asked. Bob I'm like, we're man. more happy. No, we're good. Yeah. Entrance is buried. Oh wait, no, it's fine. <laughs> You're in a tomb, Bob. Your tomb. Short game. Yep. No, Fallout 4 is the opposite of short. 
It's very true. <laughs> it's infinitely replayable, which I'm not sure is necessarily a good thing for all games, but it's fine with me for Fallout. Deathclaw hand. Free Deathclaw! Jesus. You gotta imagine, like, Bob is looking at that going, what the hell is this thing? That's oh, we were talking about that earlier. How everything's just damn whatever. I kind of like yeah. the idea that, like a minute ago, for him he was with his wife and kid, and everything was great. And now he's just fine. Like that's a cram, a fan, a coffee pot. Yeah, and then he comes skeletons. out here, and it's never really handled that. Like he's probably super peeing, disoriented. Peeing like himself. Yeah. I mean, I would be, wouldn't you? Yeah. Two hundred years in the future, everything is different. Who knows what's gonna happen? I've been attacked by giant roaches that bit me and almost killed me. Like, look at his health. There's a little guy in my vision telling me to press L3 to sprint. What the hell does that mean? That'd be weird just by itself. Just not, you know. It's, it's really you. I love the, like, weathering in his face. It's so cool. Cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> so, other people could still be alive too. But of course I'm still here. You're venturing into the free, uh -huh. but you seem to work. Jeez. No, she's back in the vault still. <laughs> Sir, this thing you <laughs> Somebody shot her in the face. I believe you need a distraction. Yes. A yeah, that's what'll help. I'll watch a movie and I'll feel better. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Or yeah, or check yeah, game of checkers. That'll that'll do it. Sean does so love that game. He's the last with you. They stole him! <laughs> like he's a car. I'm gonna actually say nothing makes sense because nothing, nothing probably does sense. make sense. Nothing makes sense to oh, Bob. It's, it's all face. about my kid. Like I understand that. God, <laughs> I'm so horrible. But it's like you're suffering from hunger induced paranoia. Not eating properly for two hundred years. Nothing makes sense. Like what happened? Where is everything? Two hundred years? Why? Are you mopping the same floor every day? Because that's realistic. <laughs> How many days is two two hundred years? No, 600,000 days? No, less than that. 60,000 days. That's a lot of days. I remember one time I figured out, when I, like when I turned 25, I figured out how many days I'd been alive to that point. And it was only like 9,000, which isn't very many. Yeah, it was like 9,100 and something. I think everyone passes that speech check. It's the teaching speech check. All right. Oh yeah, there it is. It's telling us how it works. Thanks, game. I spent the first ten years Thanks, Tooltip. Pit boy, he's the clippy of the wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're trying to shoot a man in the face. Would you like some help with that? <laughs> Try that. Go away, Clippy. Pippy. Ah, there we go. That's his new nickname. Does Cosmic give you any you know, um, unique quests? Do you take I'm them as a, as a thing? No. Oh, okay. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. A holotape? What's on it? I believe oh, right. I don't think I ever listened to this as, as um my, my survival character. As Gabby. Our history and the reason that we picked this game, this two-year-old game, to start uh, playing on our channel is that it's how it came out around the time that we started dating. Yep. And I had a PS4. And I did not. 
you did not have any sort of next gen gaming system at the time and so I invited you over to play some Fallout because you were interested. It was our excuse to hang out. It was our excuse and to hang bond. out. And I'm making some rad roach stuff. I'm being attacked by a rad roach while cooking rad roach well, meat. Well, Codsworth didn't do the best job. He did job. not do the best. Here, you're dying. There. Be dead. That's right. Get up right in the gun barrel and be shot. I like it. Are there any more you fuckers? Oh, well, we're, we're going to swear in this show. Sorry. Um, ahead of time. Children probably shouldn't be watching Fallout 4 be played anyway. And they definitely shouldn't be watching us playing it. Children generally should not be watching us. Nope. Um, so, okay, what, what should I do next? Uh, I, have to go, I think the next stop is... Um, you can check your Pip-Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, Concord, that's the next stop. So Really? The next stop would be the Red Rocket and Dog Meat and et cetera, et cetera. I want to roast the rest of that. I got one more. There we go. I've got a bunch of rad roach. I should, I should heal. I don't think Bob's doing good. Oh. Because we got messed up by the. I will. I will. I will take. That's my man. That's my bad. Yeah, you, you got us all. Hurt. I didn't do the best. I got a little uh, tag teamed by a group of rad roaches. It was like quadruple teamed. There was like eight of them. There's a lot in that one hallway. There were a lot. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I felt, I felt, I'm kind of glad that we're hopefully going to cut most of that out because it was pretty embarrassing. I might show you some highlights. There were some funny moments. Free war money. Um, what's that guy? Captain Cosmos and a little monk. Oh my God. I've never looked at that before. There's like a little monkey in a space helmet. I want to play that game. That game looks awesome. How is, that's never referenced that I'm aware of. Ever again. Is it? Yeah, well, just like Probably, Mr. Mr. Peebles, a little space yeah. cat. Yeah, first referenced. cat in space. Yeah, he's on that decoration thing you can build, and he never you never hear about him anywhere else in the whole game. Um, all right, I guess we'll go to Concord. I don't know what else. Should I do. quickly recap the beginning of the game, just uh, for those viewers who may be watching us because they know us and not because they like video games? I feel like we can recap it in one sentence. The bombs fell... And this is what's left of everything. Oh, 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 right, right. Your kid has been kidnapped or something. <laughs> it's not that important. Really, really, no one. So this is where you were from. Yeah. So this little neighborhood. This bridge especially. This is where you lived under it with your hobo family. No. Uh, <laughs> I wish you could fix this in the settlement. This has always bugged me that this is going to fall over like in any, any day now and you can never fix it. Anyway, I'm sorry. Recap the game. I interrupted you. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. So, yeah, so you start out, you have your nice wife, and your nice robot, and your son, Sean. And a tire iron. <laughs> yeah. Probably in the garage where it Why belongs. Uh, and then, um, yeah, a nice guy from Vault Tech shows up and wants to sell you a berth in the, the, the protective vault in case of the unlikely event of a nuclear war. Um, you go, yeah. I'll take Sounds a berth in the vault. Like a Sounds deal like a me. great idea. And then literally years. 10 minutes later, nuclear war breaks out. Yep. Very, you, kind of unlikely, but... You run point. to the vault. They've apparently been given your information somehow magically. It's gotten mm -hmm. down the hill. And then you get a dog. And, oh. He needs goggles and a bandana. He'll, he'll get he'll goggles get and a he'll, bandana. He'll, he'll, he gets them. Oh. Sure, let's go. He just immediately is into you, and will do what you say. Okay, He's the cutest dog. Almost as though he was engineered in a lab somewhere. <gasps> no, he really wasn't. Uh, maybe he was. Who knows? That's my theory. Oh, I, I like your synth synth dog meat theory. Yeah, my I theory think is it, that he's not. Good. He's not really. A, well, he's a dog, but he's artificial. Because there's uh, artificial people in this game later on. I'm not gonna tell you any of this shit. Um, so you're in the okay. vault. You're in the vault. Your wife and kid are in, so that it's a cryogenic vault, right? So they decide yeah. they're going to put you in cryogenic freeze or whatever. Yep. Sometime in an undisclosed future, it's, it's not future. clear to the to the player or to the character what how much time has passed and what's happened in the intervening years. And oh, I can't hit the shit. Ah! And there's lots of mutant bugs. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, ah, Jesus. Here. Security baton, time. No, come back here. Go, dog meat. What are you? Why are you running from me? Don't you want my blood? There. 
Thank you. I'll take your proboscis. I don't even know why. Why do I pick those up? Oh, that's right. They have acid in them. That's right. So Sorry somehow you, you come out of your cryogenic freeze briefly yep. and not long enough to see some weird people in lab coats and a weird dude with a gun kidnapping your son and shooting your wife in the head. Kind of a rough scene. I'm kind of surprised we managed to like make lovey-dovey eyes at each other after a scene like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a hard, it's kind of a, kind of a dark scene. Yeah. I often find it kind of hard to watch. This game is really, it's, it's Fallout in general has this weird, it's a weird hybrid of like sort of really deep and serious situations, but like with this like veneer of just really funny, crazy stuff happening all the time. Um, and then you, you're, you're, you go back under. Yeah. And then you wake up, the vault is empty. You are back under for, an, again, an unclear amount of time. And... You wake up, no one's around, you emerge from the vault, and people are cannibals. It's the apocalypse. It's, it's the road. Only less ash in the air. That still happens. There are rad storms, there's lots of mutated beasts. I'm gonna grab his chest piece, thank you. Oh, hey, welding goggles, those are mine. Dog meat can find his own. What? I'll give him the next pair, I find. Um. Yeah, Raider chest piece. There we go. Now I have four damage resistance. I'm gonna. Wow. Did he just kill him by himself? That's cool. Dog meat's the Give best. Me your, yes, Raider right arm. I'm putting that on too. Yes. Oh, so we should probably talk about too how we plan to, to play. Oh. Um, um. We both have played the game a lot, and we both have different characters. But we decided we'd do a fresh playthrough just for you. And we're planning on swapping back and forth, probably a quest or two at a time. Yeah. And so we're, we're both gonna, you know, you can, you can oh. gaze in awe at Adric's gameplay <laughs> and then laugh <laughs> and feel good about yourself uh, <laughs> when I play. <laughs> Don't short sell yourself, dear. Oh, thanks, buddy. I'm yeah. really incongruous with a bright blue. Jumpsuit. You hate the bright blue jumpsuit. I really do. I want to wear this guy's clothes. Cause you I'll, can. Oh, ah. Long johns. He's got ski, skeezy long johns on, welding goggles. Oh, I can't have that. And Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the welding goggles on, because those, those will actually give you a buff to your perception, which is cool. I'm not wearing them right now? What the fuck? What the? Oh, I took them off. Okay, there we go. All right. Now we're set. Okay, one round rule. No helmets or masks or anything. I kind of look more like Bob like that. I have bigger look. Uh, not really. He doesn't wear glasses. Um, wait, what was I doing? The wait, what was I doing uh, feeling is pretty much these kind of games in a nutshell. <laughs> I've always felt like I will go do whatever. And I'll be in the midst of it, and I'll go, oh, there's a, there's a ruin over there. I'm going to check that out. And then yeah, that leads to a side quest. And then before you know it, you've wasted three hours and haven't actually done anything that you set out to do and have completely forgotten what that was in the first place. There we go. Now I look just like Bob Belcher. Oh, right that's right. My kid is missing. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to rescue my kid. Oh. <laughs> and my wife was shot in the face in front of me. Yeah, okay. Let's go in here. I'm so absent-minded. <laughs>